Hello guys, this is Pac-Man Vice, and this is a tutorial for the program Shift Window. I find this to be a useful tool depending on what I am trying to stream. I use it for streaming. Uh, you can use it for other things if you want to, but I mainly use it for streaming. Um, <coughs> this is probably my third or fourth time trying to record this because Bandicam apparently does not like it when a admin control thing pops up saying are you sure you want to run this yes no whenever that pops up it stops recording so I got like it did a pretty good video next thing you know it only caught like two minutes of it because the thing popped up anyway that's in the past uh, let's go ahead and show you what the program looks like run it up fresh uh, right here is the my rule this is the only rule you have right now you can add ones you can delete them you can do whatever you want with these rules once you click on a rule, this is the presets for that rule. Here's the name of it. You can change this to name or what <laughs> name or that's exactly what I just said too, or anything like that. Uh, th here's the trigger button to make it happen. Basically, uh, the window title. This w this thing right here. It allows you to pick what program you're running. Uh, today I'm going to be using Realm of the Titans. It's a game by Area Games. Uh, they actually, the GMs of Area Games actually recommended me to recommended everybody to use this program because Realm of the Titans it pops up in the middle of the screen and you cannot move it at all. It does not have a 19 19x by 20 screen capture or not screen capture but uh, resolution. The only thing close that's decent is the 1280 by 720. So I use that in window mode. This way, it's not all awkward and whatnot. But I use this to move it off to the side. This way, I can have my maybe my X chat over here with my um, with my Justin TV uh, IRC chat thingy over here. Maybe put that over there. Put um, uh, area games shout box and what else you know over here got a little time bar thing over here maybe I can put my music down here just helps me a lot with setting it up and I have diff I have different setups for different games and whatnot and yeah let's go ahead and fix this because it apparently messes up whenever something like that happens as well boing wait it wasn't messed up at all well oops anyway uh, the file name is, if you set it to file name, whenever a file with this name has it, like if I, ding, if I, anything that I run named C9, this, it'll apply to that. Or I can just do it with the window title, so anything that has the title of Realm of the Titans or um, something else, it'll happen automatically for that. Um, Shift 2, this is where the screen moves to. If I wanted to <coughs> make the game full screen, I would just stay on this one. This will make it to where the window will actually go full screen on you. Uh, depending on the program, like it does not work with Realm of the Titans. Uh, it'll just kind of make it full screen-ish. It'll leave like this little tab down here at the bottom, which messes up your resolution and whatnot and just doesn't help at all. You got that, and then you can easily just do it over here, which this one allows you to position it on the screen. So say I wanted to make a screen that's uh, not 1920, but about 1280 by 720. There you go. Make it there, and 0, 0, 0, 0 will automatically put it over into this corner, which is pretty cool. There is an issue I have with this, though, because it... it it not only takes like the little screen capture area, like this whole thing right here, this area. This also takes into effect the borders. So it takes this whole part with it. So what I'm talking about is instead of just from like file to like this little thing over here, it's actually taking this very tippy top corner of the screen and this very tip bottom one. This is an issue and I'll show you in just a little bit why. The trigger, this is how you run it. You can either have it by hotkey to where like if you're clicked on the screen you can hit uh, desired. I like hitting like alt L or uh, just like maybe uh, uh, let's try let's try page up. Does page up work? Come on. Page up. Page up. Page down. No. Those don't work. Um, D. 
Oh, you are required to use an alt or a combination of keys. Okay, so what if I do a page up, page down? Okay, so alt. I don't want alt page, alt page up because it'll end up messing something up. How about alt and alt and M? I don't think M has anything to do with an alt key yet. So if I'm in game, if I hit alt M, it'll automatically work. It'll maneuver it automatically after one second delay. This is whenever it is created, opened, or activated. So <clears throat> basically every time you click onto the screen, like if I set it to two seconds, two seconds after I click on the screen, it'll automatically change it. Or if I just create the page, it'll automatically do it. So say I have it there, this is open, and I run the program two seconds after it's ran or after it's loaded, it'll uh, automatically move the screen. This will happen all the time. So like if you click off the screen, you click back on it, it'll automatically do it again. I don't really like that much. And only manual means there is no hotkey. It won't manually do it. It'll just do it whenever you hit the trigger button. I like doing it that way because it works. And the summary is basically telling you what it's going to do. It's going to say the rule called name, uh, it, uh, any of the contents within it, these two things in the window, created by that of the times that you see uh, any of the windows created by it will position itself to zero zero up here in the corner at 1280 by 720 whenever I hit the trigger button. All right, so let's go ahead and test this thing out. I've got the program here. I'm going to go ahead and show you the options real quick. It does not have a 1920 by 780p. I wish it did, but it does not. So I just use the 1280 by 720. And I have a window mode and everything else is, as you can see, on high definition, da 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 da, whatever. So I'm going to start the game. It's going to pop up. <coughs> it's going to go loading. Now, while this is loading, I am going to put or use XSplit as a demonstrator. I'm going to go ahead and go over here to full screen games and add a DYJ, which is the Rome of the Titans. As you can see, let me raise the scale point. You, there is no little white borderline or anything. It, it fits snugly inside of the XSplit broadcaster. Now, here's where things get tricky with uh, Realm of the Titans. You cannot move the window. You can click inside of it. But you can't move the dang window. You can't even hit like the X button or the, the, any of these buttons. So, a good way to fix this, you know, because taking it in the middle of the screen, it's in the way of a lot of different items. So what I do here is I'm going to go ahead and re-grab it just in case it like changed or anything like that. Do do do. <coughs> you don't have to. Just whatever. And I am going to trigger it. Now here's where my main issue comes in. And there's an, kind of an easy fix. There. It's up here in this corner. I'm all happy now. But as you can see, it kind of shrank a little. If I come over here to XSplit, as you can see, there is little black lines and whatnot here let me grab the game over here real quick so I can show you with the background on it there see it's open here at the top and whatnot it's I can't tell what it actually is but it's not 1280 by 720 but that is because it automatically picks up the ends of the whole screen it takes a screen screen not the in-game screen like over here it takes the whole thing which includes the border so what you gotta do is what I figured out <coughs> you've gotta add some numbers to it uh, my screen is 1920 by 1080p I'll put some of the the, the, the movements that I know uh, so I believe it is I add about one I think I add 40 to this 48 I add 48 which will turn this to 1 3 28 1328 by I believe I add um, uh, how much did I add this I think it was 50 uh, I'm gonna and trigger it again jump over here to XSplit no that wasn't enough okay but I'm pretty sure this was enough let's go ahead and it seems like it's different all the time actually because last time all I did was 1280, uh, 28, 
Hi. 750, yeah. Trigger. No, no idea. Hopefully this over here shows you guys how to how to get it to work yourself, basically. 720, or 1328, what is it? 1280, ooh. 1280 by 720. <laughs> That's a pretty big screen right there. Mm, I really don't remember the numbers. 1380 28 by 7 60 closer change the high, increase the height a little more 80 almost 780 why right, there was another number here was it 83 38 maybe almost a little less 35 there we go that looks pretty good it's not too big not too small and you can't see around the edges can you there you go so you just got to mess around with it try to get it to fit use maybe X split or something like that to to visually change it but this right here should work. I added, let me go ahead and write it down this time. Last time I did it, uh, I, I'm pretty sure the number was uh, around that, but last time I did it, I didn't write it down. So, let's see, 13, 35, by 780. And this right here is a 40, Increase it by 60, and this one here is 80 and 55. That's basically that's what I figure. I figure a lot of things. So anyway, that that's basically it. Or I can easily come over here, change it to. By 50, 50, hit trigger, pow, now it's away from a little bit. You can even go negative 2, so if I wanted to go negative 8 by negative 30, I believe that's the number that I picked. It'll put it over here, but it won't. That's weird. I may have took up a little too much. Anyway, you can basically put negatives on there to get rid of the border if you wanted to. If you wanted to try that, I'm not going to tell the exact numbers because I don't know them. Anyway. Not sure why that number changed. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and save this one again. R O D T. Whoa, caps lock. How you doing? R O D T. File. Save as. R O T T. Save. And there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and quit this game and show you on a different one the full screen mechanism. And full screen that. Da -da -da. We don't need this anymore because you're not going to be able to see it anyway. So I'm going to put it back to normal, lower it down, put you over there. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and load up a Steam game because, you know, Steam games is a lot of games that are full uh, window mode, but you cannot change the screen. Um, one of those games, I believe, is... Uh, what's one of those games that you can't change? Um, I'm sure there's one over here in the A's. Bit Trip Runner. I don't think you can change the screen. So let's listen to some nice little music. Loading.
find it good. Uh, I could show you one more time, but it'll stop my broadcasting. But basically, when I had my ROTT over here, I could use this screen over here, this location for whatnot, the whole chatting stuff, and you know, other important things. So if you like this kind of lengthy tutorial-ish thing, so there you go.